Hello there, this is Space Nine Five. Welcome to a new Let's Play series where we'll be playing as the Cherokee over here in North America, which is actually the first native uh, country I've played in all of the Americas, with the exception of Aztecs. So this will be a little bit interesting. I haven't played with any of their new mechanics that they had in the... What patch? 1.30? 1.31? I'm not sure. Um, but anyways, we haven't played with any of that. I haven't played with any of their ancestry traits, which is for 400 Diplo points, you can basically have any trait that your ancestor has had previously, and you can make it permanent, which is pretty strong if you get, like, morale of armies, discipline, stab cost. I mean, if you get, like, you know, 10 stab cost guys, you can make stab free or, you know, morale. Like, uh, tech cost, you know, stack that, discipline, morale of armies, you can have plus a hundred or a hundred percent for morale of armies which would be ridiculous or discipline not so much discipline but you know five percent for each guy that's fifty percent extra discipline that makes your army incredibly strong or your economy very strong depending on what you have starting off we're going to go ahead and build up to our force limit up to six we're going to go ahead and form a federation with these guys they do start off with additional the way federations work we'll go ahead and talk about these for a second because it's not how you would kind of think about them originally or initially does anyone else want to join the Federation real quick? We'll go ahead and take a look at that. Anyone else? So, uh, you'll join. Perfect. Go ahead and join our Federation. Thank you. So, the way the Federation works is your strength is actually completely based on your manpower and not the total number of troops that you have active, which is how I originally thought when I first loaded the game a couple times, because doing a couple play tests, you know, just to see how things are going. So, they actually have additional more uh, manpower than us, or maximum manpower. So that actually decreases our amount of cohesion we have. You see they have a negative 0.2 when we should have basically a point plus 0.3. So it kind of has a little bit of negative bonus to it. But for advisors, we can go ahead and get a national manpower advisor plus 10%. And now we're the strongest in the alliance block. And now our cohesion is going up 0.6 per, per, uh, per month, which is pretty strong because we can go ahead and get these different little modifiers here once we're at 100 per cohesion. And you see you can get tribal development, which is st super strong. You know, attrition for enemies doesn't really matter. Institution spread doesn't really matter early off. Settlement cost, pretty nice. Too bad we're not going to settle for anything. Goods produced modifier plus 10%. What do you got here? Monthly federation favor growth. That's very nice, actually. Plus a base 0.5 here. Means you can go ahead and cycle a little bit quicker. And then what do you got? National unrest, monthly autonomy change, prestige. Uh, it doesn't actually seem that great. All federation, oh, will be integrated. Ah, I see. That is actually pretty strong. So, we are the leaders, so we get an additional 10% morale of armies, extra diplo rep, which means people are more likely to go ahead and join the Federation, which is very strong. So, starting advisors, go for morale of armies or national manpower modifier, if you're going to go ahead and try and go ahead and lead a Federation. And, oh good, and we have siege pip. Siege pips are the most important pip here. Yeah, I say that like normally, you know, just go ahead and lead sieges if we're in Europe, but here... It's basically a siege race of who can siege whose capital first. It is imperative to have those siege t siege pips here. Because we only have one province, and we will only have one province for quite some time. Uh, rivals don't really matter. Just rival whoever you want. Because anyone you share a border with, you can you have the show strength CB. Yeah, you're not rival. See, go ahead and declare war. We already have humiliate because, well, we're adjacent. And it's just a, mod a thing that we have as a tribe, which is pretty solid means we can show strength, get extra monarch points all the time. We'll go ahead and collect trade over here in the Ohio area, just because we have a spare merchant. Might as well. It'll give us maybe, you know, 0.1 ducats. <laughs> but not even 0 0.1, 0.001 maybe. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and continue to invite people to our federation. Because we are definitely the strongest federation, and we want to continue to be the strongest. Oh, sure. You'll go ahead and join our own federation. Beautiful. You can go ahead and join our federation as well. Because the stronger our federation is, the faster this grows. So it's going up 1.2 per month now, just because we are guaranteed to be the strongest right now. Oh, corruption. That sucks, to be honest. Go ahead and build up. You guys go ahead and join our, uh, or become our ally. So people can sometimes leave our federation, but the, uh, the friendly they are with you, or the higher their opinion of you, the more likely they are to stay. Where are you? Way up there in the north. Let's go ahead and ally this guy, uh, just so he can go ahead and join our federation. So that should go ahead and help us a little bit. Have another alliance. Uh, that didn't actually seem to help. Where'd they go? Not sure, but we'll go ahead and pick up. Yeah, do we want you as an ally? Maybe. I don't really see a reason not to. It's just, you know, free alliances. We have two whole Diplo relations, so might as well. Wait, the Federation. Did you join another Federation, my friend? No, you're just negative three, so we just need to get a little extra opinion. So, we're going to go ahead and... Oh, we're still building up our army. Perfect. 
Go ahead and improve relations with these guys when we get a second. You guys, go ahead. And, oh, you don't want an alliance anymore. I see. Go figure. Well, you're not in a federation yet, so we'll go ahead and improve relations with you. Get that going. And let's see who we got here. Anyone else wish to join a federation? You. Just you. Master recruit. No, that is awful. That means the federation, everyone's going to be upset. Our cohesion is dropping. It changes by zero. Actually, I, it could be worse, to be honest. But why did it have? Why did he have to die? All right, we'll go ahead and increase the size of our army. Do we get another guy? Land maintenance? No. Oh, it's, it's wow, that's expensive. To recycle you guys. We'll recycle both those guys because we do need them. Alrighty, that's not what I was hoping for. You have a small little federation. How about you? 18k. How about you? 21k. We cannot fight these guys. Oh, we can fight you though. Alrighty, let's go ahead and hire some mercs though. Just so we can ensure that we'll go ahead and win our wars. You have three siege pips, that's great. Although we're not gonna hire you though. That's not gonna be a thing. Our loans are rink a dink, very tiny. Let's go ahead and hire these guys, get you guys going. And we're gonna go ahead and migrate and immediately declare war on these guys. For their little bits of tribal land. We shall migrate. We are over the force limit, so it causes issues for us. And we'll wait one more month and we'll go ahead and declare war. Just so we can get our manpower. Local manpower reduction. No, that's real bad. I mean, yep, you are dropping negative 0.8 right now. That is basically the worst trait we could possibly have right now for our federation. When do you uh, die, fall off? There we go. 10 years, we have negative manpower. If I migrate, does it... Oh, it's tied to the single province, so we can migrate, actually. Hmm. I guess we're going to migrate as soon as possible. Just so that we don't lose our cohesion. Oh, you guys go ahead and join. Wonderful. Perfect. All right, we're going to migrate. I was going to actually go ahead and get a leader instead, but we're here now. There we go. The declare war. You have 12k troops versus our 10k, so it seems fine to us. We'll go for a tribal border, so we can go ahead and take this province off them. You and you are all next to each other. That's awful. Go and declare war. Armor of army should be better. Yeah, much better. There we go. There goes most of the armies already. I'd like to keep you guys here. These guys, I want to move off to go ahead and engage that little 4k stack. Once this 4k probably gets about here. Wait another month, and we'll go ahead and engage. You guys join the Federation, so you guys are happy as clams. There we go. You have the shock pip, though. Mm, or the siege pip. You guys are going to go ahead and engage our mercs. We'll go ahead and reinforce. Shift consolidate. There we go. This should be a victory. For us. There we go. What happened to all of our military points? It's a great question. They seem to have disappeared. Alright, so we need to go ahead and reinforce a little bit. We're doing okay, relatively. Uh, yeah, very even in terms of troop count. Mercs. Uh, you need to go ahead and reinforce a little bit so I can go ahead and send you over to the next province to go ahead and begin occupying here. Seriously, what happened to all of our manpower? Or all of our, uh, our military points? Go ahead and destroy that little army. Just because I don't want you guys to actually reinforce that. Goodbye, dusted. I don't know what happened to that little army. Apparently they got, uh... <laughs> they lost, they instantly lost their morale as well. Fair enough, we are making uh, small amounts of money. We're just sitting here once we actually get our troops up. There we go, let's go ahead and do that. How is the cohesion going? It is going down right now. We're slightly below 10... Slightly below. Yeah, that's just due to devastation, which sucks. All right, cohesion is bad. Feels bad, man. I get a point seven. You are a different culture and you're stronger than me. Yeah. It cost me point four though. Actually, it's probably. Do do do. Yeah, in a different culture. Well, that's a thing. Hopefully we go ahead and get our cohesion up just a little bit. We'll go ahead and walk over here. We'll go ahead and create new units, split off two of you guys. Go ahead and continue sieging there so we can do both sieges at the same time. And hopefully we can do something about this. We are making positive income right now, which is pretty solid. We'll take it. You wish to make peace. Uh, no. 
You walked over into... Oh, it splits. Interesting. That is our land, though. I have a little bit of devastation. We're going to go ahead and migrate over here somewhere where it has probably, you know, two manpower so that we get our boost to our manpower. Just so maybe we can be above that, you know, 10,500 threshold. Right now, we're not too happy about that. Go, that siege is done. We'll go ahead and migrate over here because we have a siege pip. You, my friend, are going to give us as much prestige we, as we can have. Give us money because we're going to need that. Go ahead and end your rivalries. Yeah, I sure you can keep that alliance. Okay, apparently you get to keep both alliances, but you lose that. Go, thank you for the prestige. <laughs> this army can go ahead and walk off. Uh, and we'll give you a new leader eventually. That is the hope and the dream. Uh, lose step? No, we'll lose nine ducats. Nine ducats is nothing. Cohesion is still dwindling that rapidly. Negative 0.7. We'll get our manpower. Oh, I also recycled you guys. What do we got? Land maintenance, not what I'm looking for. Recycle you. You, my friend. Give me money, because that is a recycle of leaders. War ups doesn't really matter. There you go. Let's get some more prestige. Thank you. Appreciate you. You guys get together. You're going to give me your money. Go and give us this province. I guess we can go ahead and melee at you as well. And end your alliance there. Perfect. Thank you for the prestige. And the additional one province. The prestige will go ahead and give us advisor cost reduction. So it'll save us a little bit of money. Doing okay in terms of the economy right now. What do we got here? Land force. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Get that in here. There we go. Get you guys all together. Bridge up our standing army. We can go ahead and roll for a new leader. What do we got? got some shock pips. That is our combat leader now. This should be going up now. Uh, it's going... Let it tick. There we go. Uh, the 10% actually did not make that big of a difference. Oh, that's land force limit. That's not what we're actually looking for. I regret buying you now. We're hiring you. I didn't buy you. That's not what we do. We don't buy people. You, do you have... You have a pretty decent alliance chain. You are allied to someone in our federation, which I'm not a huge fan of. Go ahead and get an alliance. Does getting an alliance really make a difference, though? Attitude towards enemies is already pretty high, so that doesn't really make a difference. We'll go ahead and migrate over here. Don't have enough military points. I see. Yes, because instead we hired a leader. Ask reinforcement speed. Not what I'm looking for. Wait, another month? The additional land force limit is saving us a little bit of money. No, you are not what I'm looking for. What do you got here? National, there we go. National manpower modifier. We will take loans to get that guy. We need our federation. There we go. And do we declare war on you? We have 10k versus 22k. Mm, not that great. How about you? 19k That is. They do outnumber us. 19k here as well. So we go take a fight there. We will be outnumbered. That we seem to have passed on with a 212 error now. Means we no longer have siege pips, which is, you know, it is what it is. Make the current leader. Uh, no siege pips and no shock pips. He is literally the worst. He's got discipline, though. So that's actually a pretty decent. Oh, it's plus 10% now instead of 5. So he got doubled. That's pretty solid. This is going to be a long war or a very big slog. Let's go ahead and migrate. Can't migrate here. We have to migrate there or we can go here. Let's go ahead and migrate here. <clears throat> Gives additional manpower. There we go. Are we indeed the strongest? Yep, it's going up 1.3. There we go. What do you got? Botanical exports plus trade manpower recovery speed. Um, Not quite what I'm looking for. If it increased our, our manpower, that'd be awesome. How are we doing over here? Yeah, we got a couple months. We got to go ahead and recover. Not too big of a deal. Do you need to statify this? No, it's just, just ours. Perfect. Ah, we're just migrating through it. So we're getting a little extra development growth right now just because we are rate grazing on top of not some of our land that is not ours inherently. Yeah, grazing uh, in the province plus 0.1. So we're getting a little extra just for grazing here. We did just have to go ahead and take a loan, which, you know, sucks. Life goes on, though. Just because we are no longer in the Ohio region. 
6k. Yeah, I can't really fight that right now. And I'll have to fight you, which is not great. Is what it is, though. Only losing 0.25 dockets, that's not awful. Don't really have that many friends. That's 10k. You are there. 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 So we could actually probably do this fight here. Let's go here first. We'll go get rid of this guy, and then we'll come down south. You only have 4k. We want to get rid of the 6k first. You're not in our federation, right? No. And you're not very inclined to join us. Does anyone else wish to join? Just real quick. Uh, no. No one else is inclined to go ahead and join us. Go ahead and declare this war. Go for humiliate. We want to go ahead and show superiority. Uh, just give us more power projection. You, my friend, are far away. Let's go do this. 6k gone and dusted. Detach the mercs. Go ahead and do that. You guys are fleeing to the woods. That seems okay. Don't really mind that, to be honest. A uh, little 4k stack's gonna get caught. Perfect. Goodbye. You guys do get to go ahead and live. That's okay, though. Yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and do both sieges. So, what I want to do here is... I want to keep a little 2k stack here to go ahead and reinforce. You guys are on my capital. That is awful. But we are on the coast, so we do get an additional two, uh, two siege pips. Or anti-two siege pips. Something like that. You know, this Or two siege phase, phase reduction. Because no one has boats right now over here in this new world. Which is totally fine with me. I don't need boats. Boats are a thing that we do not have. We're up to 56 now. Very nice. Anyone else we want to go ahead and try and get in our federation? Uh, you'll apparently join. Miami. All right, Miami, we'll go ahead and improve relations with you. See if we can get you in. Then we'll go from there. Because we'll just separate peace, everyone, as we go. Uh, both these sieges should be done before our capital is done, which is good. <clears throat> in theory. That is definitely in theory, because... Our... Yeah, that's a little scary. It's a little hazy right there. Not... You guys are going in on our mercs. Like this unit and get on over there. Detach just the little one case stack. Go ahead and do that battle. Perfect. Go ahead and leave one unit here as well. Like this unit. Select the mercs and we go south because we need to go ahead and defend our capital. Please don't fall. Okay, good. It did not. Actually, wait. You guys just merge here and go in there. Can we go ahead and hire a new leader? Or shock is pretty decent. It is our capital, it is Savannah. Go ahead and defend that. We have plenty of morale to be able to do that with ease. You guys go there, and you guys go there. Perfect. There we go. That was a little scary. It was very, very hazy there. It was like, well, it might fall, it might fall. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous laughter on the side, like, mm. very uncomfortable with this, but such it is this is just how it's going. Let's see who else we are with. You, my friends. All right, we'll walk over. Ooh, that is a quite a ways that we have to walk. Let's not walk there. Walk over here. We can go ahead and take peace with these guys. They'll go ahead and give us some money. Thank you for the money. And give us and your rivalries. Just give us some cash. Break that alliance. Sure. Thank you for the prestige. What do you got here now? Uniting the tribes. Government reform progress is very nice because we want to go through that as soon as possible. So we can go ahead and reform as soon as possible. We go. How many troops do you guys have? Uh, 13,000. Mm, that's still a little much. You are the war leader. Let's go ahead and merge all our troops over here. I guess we'll go ha have to march north to go ahead and deal with this guy first. You, how many people are? You still have quite a few people in your alliance block. Oh, you want to join us? Sure, come on in. Don't mind me mind us at all there we go let's go ahead and go north over here uh if our ally ally can go ahead and just siege this that'd be awesome oh i didn't even mean to ex i accidentally hit your army <laughs> oops <laughs> that was a happy accident you guys are gonna go there that's fine we don't have any siege pits right yet none um i told you to go over here and yet you're going over here 
feel like you're a little confused. You guys just stand next door while our mercs go ahead and siege that. That's fine. What do we got here? Add travel land cost minus 25%. Monthly reform progress. That is obviously a no-brainer, so we can go ahead and go through this tree just a little bit quicker. We are getting a whole month or a whole tick. Oh, good. You guys are sieging that down. Perfect. We'll go ahead and siege this down. Whose troops are yours? That is not those guys. Free stab. All right, we're going to go ahead and bump up our stab real quick. Bump, bump, and bump. There we go. Lots of stab, very good. Uh, almost like no change in our economy. We'll go ahead and repay that loan. Repay all of our loans if we can. Positive income, our allies doing... Oh, they got a wall breach there. Very nice. Wall breach there as well. Phenomenal. That means both of these sieges will be done sooner. Are you guys going to die to this little 6k, or are they just going to stand next to it? Oh, good. That siege fell. And that means our capital is safe. No, that is not our capital. Give us that. I'm okay with sharing the money, to be honest. Warups probably don't matter, to be honest. There you go. Thank you for the prestige. Goodbye. There goes those... I'm gonna say 6k, but that's this guy's army and your guy's army. Fair enough. Oh, this guy's. Ouch. Good. Super peace. Thank you for the money. And the prestige. Thank you. Might as well go ahead and help our ally out. Oh, you're gonna go take that battle? That's totally fine with me. You guys do that battle? By all means. Go 100%. We're gonna go ahead and show strength here. Thank you for the monarch points, my friend. And do that as many times as we possibly can. What do you got here? National unrest reduction? Sure. Increase our stab cost a little bit, but that's fine. Not concerned by that one. What do you got? Botanical exports? Oh, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna hold off on that one for as long as possible. Anyone wish to join? Did someone leave our federation? We only have five right now. We're already almost done with one of these. That's great. Uh, your arrival. You want to go ahead and join? Oh, you have a federation of your own, I see. And you don't want to join our federation because you're in that one. You see, that's unfortunate. You have a federation. You have a federation. Man, why does everyone have to have their own federation? We can probably get you. We have an open relationship slot. We do. All right, Miami, we'll go ahead and offer you alliance. There you go. You'll go ahead and join the federation. Perfect. Go ahead and wait just a little bit longer. There we go. Invite the Federation. Welcome. Welcome aboard. There we go. Invite the Federation. Who else we got? Uh, look, you look like you're the next one. Is that you? Yes. No. Yes. That is your flag. Perfect. We'll go ahead and improve relations with you. We want to continue to grow our Federation. It will be stupidly strong. That's all I'm looking for. Going up one a month. And there's the Renaissance. That's the thing. That was our devastation. Ooh, devastation's a little high. We'll go ahead and move. Uh, I'd like to attack you, to be honest. 19k, this we, does mean we have to go fight these guys, which I don't really want to do. We'll have 13 versus 10k. Who else is in your federation? You and you. This is all. We're going to lose both of our allies in this, actually. That's unfortunate if we were to do that. How about here? We already went to war with you, actually. How about you? 20k. Uh, not very probable. You would take an alliance. You're actually not in a federation. Uh, yeah, no, actually you are in a federation. Alright, so we're not going to touch you. We do need to migrate. We'll go ahead and migrate over here. I want to go ahead and migrate over here, because there's uh, quite a bit, quite a few big, uh, big nations that we can go ahead and just destroy. You're not in our federation, right? Good. Just want to make sure before we go ahead and eat you eventually. But, I mean, granted, if we go ahead and inherit everyone, should be fine. Alright, you, my friend. We go ahead and declare war. Oh, you guys are actually in the Federation. We won't lose you as an ally. That's fine. So I probably should have had them join the war in our last war. Done this one. Wish I'd known that. We'll go ahead and show superiority, though. Yeah, lots of shock. Not a lot of siege, though. We'll go ahead and fight them there. Instant stack wipe. Great. Go hunt these guys real quick. Hopefully they are around. No. Alright, so that's a little concerning. So, there means that there's still an army nearby. You guys go ahead and split. Fuck off over here, and let's go ahead and hire a couple extra troops. Oh, uh, well. 
I already have you guys. I don't really want these guys, though. Give me two additional troops. We're going to need them. Get your butts in there. This is... It's going to be tight. It's probably going to be a loss. It is indeed a loss. We'll walk over there to this army. Needs a leader. Uh, you guys no longer... You guys will just spawn and get killed. They will instantly stop, but they won't stop for us. Which is a bit annoying. Get your morale. This is the Merc stack. We push our luck a little bit too much, maybe. You still don't have any morale. Mm, looks like we're actually a little bit behind. That's not good. Military Tech 1. Everyone's still on Military Tech 1. We are a little bit behind. We do need a Siege Pip then. Oh, good. We got two Siege Pips. Glorious. Rolled the dice and we got lucky. Alright, so this Siege needs to get done first. That'll piece out 4k. Does that mean they leave the Federation? No, they... S yes, they do leave the Federation if you do that. Hmm, I see. Good. Walk over here. You are going to sue for peace. Give me your money. Do that. Oops, goodbye. 11k, that's a little bit more manageable. We'll take that 015. Get in charge. The only way that we get unblack flagged is here. So we have to do that. You want to go ahead and join that federation again? Uh, no. You just instantly joined another confederation. That's annoying. Go, we'll take this battle. We've lost. Which is not good. Yearly army tradition decay is bad. Alright, so we lost this war. Just offer. We are just going to lose money. That is totally acceptable. We'll take the 353. Three. Give us a new guy. We're going to cycle as much as possible. There we go. Didn't lose any stab, which is also good. Alrighty, so we just lost there. That's okay. You'll see admin points. Monthly autonomy change. Okay. Anyone wish to join the Confederation again? Nope. You left and instantly joined a different one, which sucks. We're no longer allies. All the paperwork for changing Federation, the average distance of our Federation. Oh, there we go. Oh, I didn't know. Interesting. We've reached maximum. What do we want? Vision for enemies. Tribal development is probably the best because it gives us more development, gives us more manpower. Everything's good. This just integrates everyone. We don't care about that right now. Or do we want extra growth? I think we're doing okay with growth right now, though. Give us more tribal development. There we go. There we go. Does that make any influence anyone to join? No, it doesn't. Okay. It's curious. Bridge you guys back up. Manpower needs to recover a little bit. We're up to 12k, though. <clears throat> you are getting closer to coming and join us. We'll go ahead and repay those loans. As many of them as possible. How are we doing? Oh, we only have one loan. We're running a deficit right now, but is that due to... Yeah, that's due to our devastation. I'll migrate over here. We'll go ahead and add it to our tribal land for 100 admin points. We'll go ahead and do that. Produces grain. Not exactly the best trade good in the world. Who are you friends with? Do we have a CB on you now? We do. Humiliates. That is 30,000. Mm, that is a spicy amount. Also need a new ally. Erie, you're already in our federation, right? No, you are in a different federation. You are leading a federation now. How about you? Desire to stay in the Erie federation. I don't think there are that many people in it, right? Yeah, it's just you and them. I think you should definitely want to join us. You. Prove relations there. We'll probably get an alliance there. Once you guys are in the Federation, that'll make life just a little bit easier. <clears throat> Could definitely be inclined to go ahead and get a Diplo rep, dude. Just to influence people to go ahead and join the Federation a little bit easier. Eh, he's... He's... You know, he's a little expensive, though. You have our two siege leader. You're in charge of the mercs, right? Yes, good. I'm okay with eating you now. Be honest. You have 40k strong though, that's uh definitely a thing. We're gonna go ahead and migrate this way. That's a 532 province. That's pretty good. We've renewed a loan. Not too bad though. <clears throat> Negative eleven reasons. 
we even Royal Mary in this? I'm kind of curious. Nope, no Royal Marriages. Oh, that's your government reform, though. Allied. Are you? Oh, no, you're still in the Federation. Good. You should stay in it. By far the best thing we could possibly have. Oh, does it reset? It goes down to zero. I see. Okay. What do you got here? Oh, high income. Yeah, that's not a thing. We have money. It doesn't mean we have a high income. Let's be, let's be realistic here. Alrighty, you. Uh, you're super unlikely now. You joined a federation. Mm, I see. Alright, we're well, gonna go ahead and drop you then. You are far away as well. Who's the closest now to joining a federation? You are. Alright, let's go ahead and prove relations with you then. We'll eventually get you guys. <laughs> but that is all the time we have for today. If you enjoyed today's episode, please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.